Cobra Kai. Kidding. In this next shot, we have Hawk fighting Kenny at the Cobra Kai dojo. Hawk is wearing a Miyagi Dogi. Kenny has his Cobra Kai gi on, and you have all of the Cobra Kai students in the back, along with Terry Silver. Hawk has freaking turquoise hair. He's got the mohawk back. It's like a shorter mohawk, but it looks badass. And it looks like they're doing another sort of competition here. And now we're cutting back to what looks to be that same competition. But now we have Devin fighting Sam, which is really, really cool. Very interesting matchups because Hawk and Sam have both been training in karate for a while. Sam has been training for almost her whole life. Hawk won the All Valley Tournament and both of them are fighting kind of newbies to karate. You know, Devin and Kenny joined pretty late. However, Karate Kid's all about underdogs. So I wouldn't count Devin and Kenny out of it yet because you never know. With hard work and dedication, you could always be the best around. Here we can see Tori in the Cobra Kai dojo. She's fighting someone. She looks pissed and definitely taking the no mercy mantra to heart. Here we have another shot of Sam versus Devin, and this just feels like a tournament. We have a panel of people in the back. We have a man standing up like a referee. However, he's kind of dressed like he's going out to golf. So I'm going to say that this is some sort of mini tournament competition that they're holding, and the Cobra Kai Dojo is where they're doing it at. I think this is going to be later in the season. I don't think it's the season finale, but I think it'll be sometime after season five and before that finale episode 10. This next shot is insane. We have Kenny literally jumping off of Kyra's back and he's about to kick what looks to be Tyron Woodley in the face. And Kenny's got some hops here and it's just crazy. Like, and like even the guy in the back, his mouth is open like, ah, oh my God, like Kenny, what are you doing? This has also got to be another one of my favorite shots. We have Miguel, Robbie, and Hawk all in the same frame, all training together. Who would have thought we would have seen the three of these guys training together? Okay, here we go. This is what we've been waiting to see. Terry Silver versus Daniel. Terry is smiling. He is ready to fight Daniel. And in the back, we can actually see there's a hole in the wall. So I think Daniel punched that hole trying to hit Silver because we can see there's blood on his knuckles here. And look at Daniel. Like... That doesn't look like a Miyagi-Do face. That looks like a Cobra Kai face. Like, I'm about to show no mercy to you. I mean, look, he's got blood on his knuckles. Also, the same outfit he's wearing here was the same outfit he was wearing when he was looking at that picture frame of his family. So my theory is something big happened with this family. And I think he had a big fallout with Amanda. And now he's just going, like, rogue. He's, like no mercy style he lost all sight of miyagido teachings and i think he's literally like barging into terry silver's house and starting a fight with him like i've had enough of this like daniel's just gonna go off and i'm so excited to see the dark daniel in cobra kai 5 so here we have a woman taking notes and she's saying i'm happy to hear that you're doing well with the others and then we cut to freaking john crease in jail punching a guy cutting back to him and with the John Cree smile, he says, why well, make friends pretty easily? And then we cut to this. It's the same location, but that's not Crease. It may seem like it's Crease based on the way it's being edited, but I believe that that is Barrett Carnahan, the actor of young Crease who appeared in Cobra Kai season three and four. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. How does that make sense? How could this be Barrett Carnahan if this is modern day? Like, the only explanation would be if this was a flashback. And I do not think that this is a flashback because everyone's wearing the same outfits. It's not like Kreese went to jail when he was younger and he's at the same place now. I think Kreese is really getting into the fight and he feels like his younger self again. Maybe he feels like he's back in Vietnam. And we actually see young Crease in the fight because that's how he feels. So that's my theory with that. But it's going to be really cool to see Barrett Carnahan back as young Crease because he's awesome. And then Crease says, I find that a little kindness goes a long way. And that's got to be one of my favorite lines from the trailer. It's just so funny. Like Crease, like, <laughs> you know, he punches people and he's like, yeah, I'm getting along with the others. I find kindness goes a long way. It's just, that's such a crease thing. So I love it. And I'm so excited to see crease in jail because we haven't seen anything of crease in jail up until now. And 
I feel like that plot line, they're saving a lot of it. Like, I think Kreese is going to come out of jail, work with Daniel and Johnny to take down Silver. Like, I, that's my theory. I'm so excited for that. I think it's going to happen. And I think they're saving all of those reveals. So there you have it. That was the full breakdown of the Cobra Kai Season 5 trailer. What an epic trailer. Season 5 drops on Netflix September 9th. Make sure to check it out and also make sure to subscribe to the Cobra Kai Kid YouTube channel and turn on all notifications so you never miss a new video. Hit the like button and share the video with your fellow Cobras, Eagle Fangs, and Miyagitos. I'll see you all next time on Cobra Kai Kid and until then remember, Cobra Kai never die.